Hello there. What is going on, everyone? Today, we're going to be unboxing the X-Wing 2nd Edition Huge Ship Conversion Kit. If you wanted to play with your big old ships from 1st Edition and want to get a conversion kit, this is the kit for you. We're going to take a look at everything that comes in here, and you're actually going to be able to have enough stuff to run two different huge ships in here, it looks like. And... Every ship should be able to run in two different factions as well, which is super, super cool. So I'm very excited about that. I also want to give a big thank you to my sponsor, uh, Luxury Playstyle. They have sponsored my X-Wing videos, and you can save 15% by using code CRABUCKVIP. If you go to LuxPlay.com, you can check out all of their tokens. I'm going to show you a couple of them. So maybe I just want to run Darth Vader. I might order something like this. With uh, I might just get like three shield tokens and three force tokens. And they're all double-sided. These are all solid metal tokens, and they're amazing. They come in three different finishes. You've got nickel, you've got this uh, black finish right here, and uh, you've also got like the really shiny, the shiny uh, finish right here. And of course, they have charge tokens, shield tokens, force tokens. Check them out. Build yourself a custom bundle. Get maybe just your ace, or maybe your favorite two ships worth of tokens, or get a whole set. Save fifteen percent. For Crabog VIP to make amazing Christmas presents as well. Uh, you got a lot of holidays coming up, so that's going to be really fun. Uh, let's open this box up. All right, so we're going to just pull all of this. There's oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. There's there's a lot. We've got a lot of cardboard. Whew, look at all of that cardboard. We've got a lot of books, and we got some well, some regular cardboard to hold everything together. Okay, that's all the regular cardboard. We can toss that aside. We've got our huge ship conversion kit list here. Uh, we've got the stuff for the new factions. We've got that resource tracker. We've got uh, all of our cardboard. We've got some uh, cargo proximity mines. We've got uh, uh, we got our turret indicators and our happy little rules uh, rule book right here, which is our huge ship rule book. It's going to have all of your questions and answers on how to run these guys now in second edition. We have all kinds of uh, you know, special arcs on these ships, ways to identify the ships with multiple turret arcs because you've got this new token in here, how you move them, this is a new movement tool. I'm going to take a look at all of that. We've got, we've got our base, uh, we've got our movement tool in here. Let's, 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 let's pull this thing open first because this is going to be super cool. Oh, 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 let's get it, let's get it out. All right, so this is the movement tool. And you're gonna see that it's got, uh, you know, one, a two, three, four, and a five. That's right, huge ships now can go up to speed five. We've also got turns for a zero turn, which is a new thing that they're gonna be able to do. They're gonna be able to do a zero turn, a one turn, or a two turn, or a three turn, look at that. Um, and how is that gonna work? Well, I'm glad you asked. Here is our base. Uh, and we're gonna get two of these in here, which is really cool. I think I had that upside down too. Yes, so this is gonna go, so basically go just like that. We're knocking things. Um, but the cool thing is that this is going to lock in and, and you can only goes one way. So the arrow is gonna be the forward section and you'll put this in here and then lock it and whoosh, boom, and then turn. Or, you know, uh, that's just, it's really cool. It's very, very cool. I'm digging it. I'm digging it. And um, that's also how you can do the zero speed turn, which is a new thing that ships can do. They can just go, and uh, you don't even have to do the sound effect. But if you want to, you can. Now you've also got um, two bases, two sets of pegs. So you can do maybe some of your ships that are a little, um, you know, closer together with the pegs, some of your smaller ships. Well, and we can fit, we can fit you in there. I know we can do it. I know we can, well, wow, does this not want to fit in there? Do I have it? Oh, it's because I have it upside down like a really smart person. There we go. There we go. And, um, <laughs> so we can put them in closer on the closer two or farther apart on the farther two. So what's nice about this now, I, I have seen some people, um, that when we found out that there were going to be two in here that weren't happy that they did two and not all of them. And well, this is a whole lot of plastic and, um, I think we were only expecting enough stuff 
to run one at a time to begin with. So I was actually really surprised that they give you enough to run two because most people who had huge ships would only run one. I don't know that many people that ran more than one huge ship at a time. So uh, you've got enough that you can run two huge ships at a time in this. So that's that's pretty cool. We've got lots of decks of cards. We're going to look at those in a little bit. And we've got a huge ship damage deck. Now, yeah, um, we'll, we'll open those up a little bit. I also, we need to take a look at all of this cardboard. So let's open up all the cardboard. All right, so we have our range five tool here, which is two of these stuck together. Uh, if you played in 1.0, this is how it worked. These are flimsy though, because you have this one piece that ends up being so big, it's hard to store. If you're gonna do this, I would suggest only punching one of them together instead of like, if you punch here and here, because they give you lots of these, right? Um, don't punch them both, right? Like, because then you're just gonna have this giant long piece that you can't do anything with. So just punch one of them, like maybe this one, and then so this way you can fold that one around and you just have something like that, uh, as opposed to it being like 10 feet long. That's my suggestion if you're gonna use that. Um, alternatively, if you've got a three and a two, you can probably just use those together for casual games, or you can use the deluxe kit, which has uh, the big, thick, awkwardly plastic, things like that, and, then, and they're all individual and you can piece them together as you want. Uh, we've got some bases here. So we've got our uh, Outer Rim Patrol and our Alderanian Guard. Uh, that's our, so they, this looks like our Raider base. And then, uh, no, yeah, yeah, that's the Raider. There's our Gazanti base. And this is Sea Rock insert. And we're getting all kinds of extra numbers here for target locks and some lots of turret arc indicators. And of course, you can flip these over to the white side or the gray side, depending on if it's, you know, and that's kind of how you're gonna mark them. You're gonna mark which turret is white and which one is gray, if you've got that. We've got these, which are our new health and power indicators. You're gonna have, and that's one of the reasons they give you so many of these little, uh, these little uh, plugs here, is because you're gonna have to, you know, you're gonna do a tens place and you're gonna have this, and this can be like 10 power, not up to 99 power, and you're gonna have two of these, one per ship, which is cool. We're gonna get some cargo and some proximity mines. And this is the kind of the number style that we're going to use for these tiles there. So that's that's pretty nice. And then we've got, oh, all the dials. And then we've got these two. These are going to be, I'm going to punch one of these out. These are going to, well, you're going to use these to mark your turrets. So if you notice, you got on one side like that, and the other side is white. So if you're going to have it on the black side or the white side, it's going to help you. For when you do want to run a ship with two turrets, hey, which one is which? Well, I'm turning pointed this way. I'm shooting ion cannons. Well, wait, wait, wait. No, your ion cannon is pointed left. Um, yeah. And so we've got all of our dials there. Uh, and we'll flip that over. We can see that rainbow of every faction in the game having some dials for some of their huge ships. Well, that's pretty cool. Um, we've got some cards to look at. So let's uh, zoom in on some of the cards. All right, so first off, we've got our huge ship damage deck here. And uh, one of the cool things about the huge ship damage deck is that it's got, in addition to the normal critical side, it's also got, if you happen to shoot from the specific arc in question, then it's going to do some extra nasty things to you, like like disable your turret or damage your drive. You know, Basically, you can hit the engines if you're shooting them from the rear, all kinds of extra cool stuff you can do only if it's flipped over and the shot was fired from that particular arc. Uh, or if you get right in front of them, you can hit the bridge. That's kind of cool. Um, so that's that's pretty fun. Uh, I'm digging that. Also, and we've got a lot of uh, upgrade cards to go through. we got a stack this big, so I'm going to kind of run through them fairly quick. Uh, I do want to remind you guys about the $25 Amazon gift card giveaway that's going on right now, and all you have to do is be a subscriber and leave a comment on this or one of my videos. Uh, let me know who your favorite person that you'd like to see as a, maybe a crew or a bridge officer or something like that for X-Wing. Yes, that would be pretty cool. All right, so we've got Admiral Ozzel, we've got As Morgan, we've got Nita, Riken, Dodonna, and if you want to see these any closer, just feel free to pause. Um, Remus Antilles, Stalwart Captain, Strategic Commander, Power Control Systems, we have two Ion Cannon Batteries, two Ordnance Tubes, two Point Defense Batteries, two targeting batteries, two turbolaser batteries. All right, let's move that, and then we'll do some 
We got one heavy laser cannon, two dorsal turrets, two advanced proton torpedoes, two cluster missiles, two concussion missiles, one novice technician, seasoned navigator, Torin Far, agile gunner, two of those, two hotshot gunners, two bombardment specialists, two comms teams, two damage control teams, two gunnery specialists, when we got two IGRM droids, two ordnance teams, and two sensor experts. Move them out of the way. Working, working down this list. All right. All right. Now for we got two adaptive shields. We've got two boosted scanners. We've got two optimized power cores. We've got two Tabana reserves. We've got one quick release locks, a saboteur's map, a scanner baffler, a proximity mine. And some titles. We got a lot of titles. We've got the Dodonna's Pride, Jaina's Light, Liberator, Tanta V4, Thunderstrike, Bright Hope, Luminous Beings Are We, Quantum Storm, The Assailer, The Corvus, The imp Impotent, no, Impetuous, Impetuous, The Instigator, The Blood Crow, The Requiem. The Suppressor, The Vector, The Broken Horn, The Merchant One, Insatiable Wart. And then we get two copies of the Corsair Refit. Now, we've also got our actual ship cards. Um, and so that's kind of cool. Now, the only interesting thing here is, well, they give you two bases. They only give you one of any given ship card. So if you wanted to run, let's say, a Rebel CR-90, and you had two of those, you're not going to be able to run two Rebel CR-90s. Although, honestly, I would totally, totally let you just run the, the you know, the, 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 the Republic one and just will pretend it's a Rebel because everything is identical except for the faction and the artwork. Um, you know, so yeah. So we got, well, we got that for the CR-90. We got both of those. We've got our Raiders for the First Order and the Empire. And we also have, it's funny that, uh, so we've got the New Republic Volunteers and the Echo Base Evacuees for our new New Republic uh, Resistance friends, which is, actually, that's going to be interesting. I think that's the only ship that the, new, <laughs> that the Resistance gets is the little GR-75. Um, we're going to get two Gazantes for the First Order and the, uh, the Empire. We're going to get uh, two Sea Rocks, one for... The scum and villainy, and one for the separatists. So it's like the first order kind of does the best here, right? They get two, two new ships, <laughs> and uh, everybody else is the classic, right? The first order actually has more than scum now. That's kind of cool, I guess. I'm, I don't know. I don't know. Uh, we also have some quick builds to look at. Um, so there's our Sierra nineties, both Sierra ninety quick builds. Uh, let's look at our Raider quick builds. There's the Raider quick builds. We've got our GR-75s. We've got our Gazanti cruisers. And our Sea Rock cruisers. All right, that's about it, folks. Uh, as you can see, I've got the Raider fitted, fixed to the new base with the two farther pegs. And, uh, you know, and I've got... This little GR-75 here with the two closer pegs. So I know the one base now does work for all of the different sizes. So that is pretty cool. Um, and we have a way to play all of those other ships for, for a long time yet to come. Um, so yeah, no need, no need to go out and check out the all new ships. But uh, if you are interested in the new ships, I will put a link over here at the end of the video for the uh, CR-90 unboxing. Um, and that's about it, guys. I will talk to you guys later. I want to thank you all so much for watching. I also want to thank uh, Luxury Playstyle for sponsoring this video. Again, make sure you check out LuxuryPlaystyle.com. Use code CRABOCKVIP. Save 15%.
great stocking stuffers as the holidays are getting closer. Uh, also, I want to thank my patrons on Patreon. You guys are amazing and definitely help make this all possible. So I want to thank you again, and as always, have a great day.